Basto Eat Sleep Boxing Repeat here with the serial killer George Brennan. George, uh, Middleton Shopping Centre, public workout. How do you feel it's gone in here today? Uh, yeah, really good. Uh, you know, it's really warm in there. Uh, it's like a greenhouse in there. Uh, but yeah, really, really impressed and pleased with what's gone on. Let's talk about last week because he was on Channel 5. Uh, he was on the, well, it wasn't it was after the show, but it was uh, a fight against Jose Hernandez, and it was definitely your career best performance. But talk me through how you felt that fight went inside the ring. Um, you know, I dominated from the first bell to the last bell. Uh, if I got the six rounds where it was meant to be, I probably would have finished it. You know, really impressed with my performance. And how do you feel now training with Nathan uh, has changed the way you fight? Uh, plus. I was boxing with Kieran before, you know, he taught me the, uh, the aggression and that, and uh, now Nathan took us back to boxing, so it's good, uh, it's worth, worth every, every minute of training, you know, really pleased with what's going on. And how quickly uh, would you like to be out next? Um, I'm going out in September, um, you know, that's a nice little break for me, um, you know, time to get some work in, uh, time for that, you know, maybe go for a belt at the end of the year. How many, uh, how many fights have you had now in 12 months? Um, was that a feel? I need a drink. I need a drink. It's dying. The joys of being a professional boxer in a greenhouse. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I was just asking you how many um, how many fights is it you've had now in 12 months? Quite a lot, isn't it? Yeah, I think, well, I've been boxing about 21 months now and I've had 10. So, you know, it's, it's been great. 10 fights as a pro in short space of time, like, it's been great. Well, Kieran's been getting you in some good fights with some really good experience. You fought Louis Norman, uh, obviously you fought Brett Fido twice. Uh, you beat Jose Hernandez and now will you be looking to sort of step up your level of opposition now after Jose? Yeah, definitely, you know, um, try and put me up in the ranks and... Uh, Try and challenge for an area title. Well, you've moved up a weight as well, haven't you? What, what's made you make that decision? Uh, I was killing myself to make uh, anything below nine stone, uh, really struggling. So just decided, you know, as a team, that it was better for us to move up the weight. So we did. Back to featherweight. And, and finally, just give your thanks to the obviously the sponsors. I can see them on your top there. I'm just yeah, going to quickly just. You know, so start with uh, Manchester Sports Massage. You know, they give us. A massage every uh, Tuesday. It really helps showing camp, you know, gets any niggles out. Um, the spoke, you know, they always buy tickets, always provide for me when I need it, you know, help with kit uh, and training gear. Um, friends support service, exactly the same, always help out when I need the help, um, you know, with gear and, um, you know, any, anything I need, they're always there. And Flanagan's, exactly the same, you know. I can't thank them enough, you know, CCM there as well. Exactly the same, always buy tickets, great help. George, thanks very much. Nice one, cheers. cheers.